Hi and welcome back to C Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. So here we're going to focus on the Array of Games program. I think you'll really enjoy this. Lots of, lots of skills you'll learn as we go through here. So the Array of Games program, the overview, we're going to write a game program, but it's going to have inside of it three different games. So game one is going to be guess the ASCII character game. So basically we'll display a number and you'll have to guess what's the ASCII character. For example, if I display the number hex 30, it turns out hex 30 happens to be the um, the, character, the ASCII character 0. So it'll give you some experience of guessing when it displays a number, you'll try to guess what character that number represents. Game number two will guess the ASCII C reserved word game. So it'll say, I'm thinking of a uh, ANSI C uh, reserved word, for example, the switch. Switch would be a, a reserved word, or for, or int. Any of the C programming reserved words you've used during this course, it'll say, it'll basically say, guess which one I'm thinking of. For game number three, well, not much introduction for that one. We've all played tic-tac-toe, I'm sure. So that'll be game three. Now, all of these, it turns out, we'll use an array inside each game to, um, to implement the game, as well as we're going to have an array of games. So a key skill as we go through this lesson will be learning about arrays. So the skills we'll learn, we'll learn about modular programming because we're going to have files in different, uh, more than one file for this. Uh, we'll learn about the scope of variables, having things either global or file or function scope, basically where you declare your variables at. And probably the key one is arrays. And we'll go find out r arrays and pointers having a relationship, so we'll be talking about pointers as well. In fact, an array variable is actually a pointer. And I realize that's a little unclear now, but if you look at this, where we have an int main, uh, both of those, the arg c and particularly the second parameter, arg v, the v for vector. Vector is another word for an array. It turns out the syntax I show there, both the char star arg v as an array and the char star star arg v, turns out those mean the exact same thing. And so that gives you a hint that an array must indeed just be a pointer. So we'll come back to that, but kind of keep that in mind right now. And of course, we'll have an array of command line arguments is something we've seen as well. So version zero for our startup, our main.c, we'll start everything up and this will call a startup, a play, and a shutdown function. And we'll have literally separate files. We'll have a startup.h and a startup.c which will do things like display the title and the copyright and so forth. Then we'll have a play where we actually do the playing and then we'll have a shutdown and maybe we'll display how long you played the game when we shut down. The, uh, the next version of the program will actually implement play.c and while the user is playing the game we'll basically display the game options as a menu and then prompt for the user's choice and then handle the user's choice, that is either exit the game or play which game they selected. For version 2, or 0 0.2, we'll make the game as a standalone function. So notice I'm using a concept some developers use is they keep the version number, that first number at 0, until they release their first one. So the, the 0 implies you're still developing and it wouldn't be until you officially release that it becomes 1.0. So for version 0 0.2, we'll make each game as a standalone function. That is, each game will have an interface. And what, what I mean by an interface, for each game, it's going to have a function called getTitle, so we can return the title of the game. And then we'll also have a play function. So notice the play function will return the number of points that you got by playing this game, or will turn zero. Return zero if you didn't get any points, that is, you lost. 
So that means we'll have a bunch more files here. For example, ANSI character game dot H and dot C, the ANSI C game dot C, and the tic tac toe. So basically, an ASCII character game, an ANSI C game, and a tic tac toe game. Both the dot H and remember the dot H is the interface. The dot C is the implementation. Next, for version three, we'll display the game titles. We'll actually implement that code. So notice we'll have some functions that the prefix of the function will be the game and then the, the ending part of the name or the function name will be get title. So we can get the title for each one of those games. Then in version 4 we'll actually implement the play function. So actually make the game play so to speak. Uh, version 5 will go in and even refine the implementation. In this case, we'll focus on the ASCII character game, implementing that play better. Uh, version 6 will again implement uh, the play for the ANSI C. And then the final one would be the tic tac toe. Now, remember, for all of these, we're going to be focused on arrays. A lot of code here. This is a big project, so hopefully, you're starting on it early. Uh, there'll be a pretty extensive video playlist here. Uh, so you've seen that as we go through each program, as we've gone through the course, uh, they get more and more involved. And so obviously that, that's going to continue as we go through the course. So uh, definitely the earlier you start watching these videos, the better. Okay, you've made it this far, and hopefully you're very eager to jump into the code. So there's more to come in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.